Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Playground app on your iPhone or iPad. Let's get started. All right, so if you have an iPhone and it's updated to iOS 18 or later, this new Playground app is available to you. So I strongly recommend you watch the entire video. We're going to start, though, by just tapping to open up that app. And if it is the first time you opened it, you'll be prompted on screen with some options and some descriptions on what you can do with Playground. Read through them, skip here, make sure you get to this section right here. Now, if you've never used Playground before, this is the application. And all it is is basically an AI photo generating app. So you can create photos based off your own pictures. You can create unique photos from scratch just by describing them. And you have some options to suggest different things like backgrounds, hats, and so on. So let's start by creating one from scratch here. And that's going to be by tapping on the description section down here. You can then type in a description of what you want. So I'm going to use the little chat here so you can listen to me talk. Create a turtle that's running in the forest. And then we can tap to send it here and it's going to start to generate that photo. And right away, we have one here. You can see this turtle is running in the forest. We can actually swipe between them and get some slightly different options here. And that's what's cool about this. It's gonna continuously create these little icons throughout as you go. Describe another option, add a hat. And now it should add a hat to our turtle. It just picked that type of hat. We can scroll through it here. We can use the suggestions down here to also make changes. So we have these ones here, we tap show more. These are different themes you can add. So let's say we want it to be in the winter now. It should change this to a more winter theme. You can see snowman and so on. You can then swipe across here, add a different type of hat, or even if we wanted to turn this into a hiker turtle, it would try to do that. I'm not sure how it would figure it out, but it's got a backpack on this turtle. The hat there, we can change it to, let's say we wanted this chef's hat for whatever reason. Now we've got a hiker turtle that's a chef, and you can see how it's gonna go Swipe across here, you can add more accessories like sunglasses, and you can really be creative with these. Use them as avatars, as your profile pictures, or even social media posts, because you can create things like phones or designs, consoles, whatever you want, based on maybe an X tweet you're posting or anything like that. Go across again, you can change the places. We have it in the forest, but we could say, let's go to a stadium now change that area we're in. I don't know if it's going to be able to with all that's going on. I've never created one with this many features, but you can see it, it really can't change the background all that much because we've got so many different things going on at the same time. But you can play around with it yourself and see how it's going to look or how it'll change based on what you select here. So we've got forest, stadium, and now we've got desert in the background there as well. So really pushing the boundaries here. It's a desert in the middle, it's snowing forest but that's what you can create and when you're ready anytime you can save these photos here you're just going to uh, tap up here share them save the image it'll save it right on this platform the playground pa platform or you can tap done here and it'll take you to this page where you can then tap here to share it. And from here, you can actually save it to your photo library at the bottom. So if you don't wanna just have it on the Playground app, you can save it to your photos. If you need to edit it again, you tap edit here. Otherwise, you're just going to tap the X here. It's going to save it automatically to your photo library that's built within the Playground app. And these are the things I created before. You can see a truck with fire. I created a phone here that was gonna be tech related. And it's really up to your imagination on what you create. But this is where they're all going to be stored. And you can tap the plus here to go back to the section where you can create your AI images. Now, there are other ways you can create photos. For example, if we tap the plus, we have two options, illustration and animation. You can choose a photo and you can even take a photo and then it'll kind of create that artificial intelligent photo that looks like whoever you choose from your photos. So if we tap here, it'll open your photo library. And from here, you're just going to tap and choose a photo. It'll automatically place it up there in the little bubble and it'll create an AI photo based on that image. So there we go, we've got me here. I can swipe across, it's giving me different options of myself. Again, we can add all of these suggestions in there. So if I wanted it to be summer and I want to, let's say, 
have a different accessory. So let's say a baseball cap. We can tap on it and this is uh, an image I can then now use for social media, my profile, whatever I want. Really cool, easy to use, and you can generate tons of photos like this. Now keep in mind, you can't say brands or specific people or anything like that, but you can use this in many different ways. So I'll just tap done. I'll save this here to my library that I already have. I'm gonna tap plus again. And the last option down here is this little person. If we tap on that, it opens up the people within your photo library that you can select and create AI images based on them. Just like what we did with the one I just showed you. So you would tap on the person, it would put them up there. You can then tap edit and it'll go through some different options of that person. So you can see the second one here is another photo of me and it's gonna create the AI and you can swipe through all the photos that you have in your library of that person or yourself and create or choose the photo you want. Tap done when you're ready. It'll start creating that AI photo like we did before. You can save it and you'll have that as well. Lastly here, there's an appearance option in that little people section. If you tap on it, it's going to then create one and you can see it at the top here. It's generating that photo. You can tap edit right here. It'll open up this screen where you can switch it between these three options at the bottom and then it'll start generating up there you can change skin tone so if you wanted to create a random person you could do that as well tap done when you're happy with it and from this screen again it's just going to create and generate those photos when you're happy with one specifically you can tap on it and you can make modifications or use it whatever way you want and then again save it any way you want as well tap done save it share it delete it whatever you want to do and it's now saved as well on your platform here in the Playground app. If you wanna delete photos from your image Playground, I mean, they're obviously going to take up space here. You're gonna tap and hold on them right here and you can delete them right from that section. It deletes it. There's no trash as far as I know, I haven't found one, but you can do that and delete them. One thing I'm looking for here is a way to kind of delete all of them like they have in the photo app, but I just cannot find one. That'll let you to kind of select and tap. So just uh, keep in mind, as you build this up, you're going to have to individually delete them. Uh, otherwise, you're going to have a lot of these photos just sitting there, and it'll take you a long time to delete them as it would right here for me. Now let's go over some tips and tricks that you can use with Image Playground to get the most out of it. And basically, one of the best tips I can give you is be as descriptive as possible and detailed as possible. For example, I'm gonna create one. I like tech stuff, so I do some threads on X relating to tech. So I wanted to do something like, for example, create a portable foldable VR device that unfolds into a smartphone-like tablet. And there you go, I have this really unique or crazy image here of something that is going to kind of spark interest in what I'm talking about. And you can keep swiping through them or making, you know, additions to it to make it look a little bit better. But this is what I've created and come up with right here. And I could use this photo in those threads. I mean, very detailed, very descriptive. I'm telling it what I want. And you could go even further by telling it the type of background you want as well. But be very descriptive. The next tip is actually using Playground in your notes app. So if you create a brand new note here, there is a section down here that allows you to use Playground within the notes app. You're gonna tap right here on this little paper clip and you're going to tap on image Playground here. And it's gonna work just like it did in the other app, the main Playground app. You're just going to type in your description of what you want. So let's say we're doing another tech thing here. Create a futuristic gadget that merges smart home controls with a digital assistant. Now from here, you're getting the same deal there. You can swipe across and really see how these are going to look. This one did it in more of a sketch format, but you can see it's creating based on what I said and the detail of what I said makes it even better. Same deal here if you wanna save it. You can just uh, tap these three little icons right there, copy, share, save, and so on. If you wanna exit out, just kind of pull the keyboard down. You'll be into this little screen here. You can tap done at the top. It's going to save that in your note and you can then adjust 
that particular one that you chose in your note. Maybe you're writing something out. You can also save it to your photos. Very similar down here. You have options as well. If you need to modify it, it'll go back. It's going to generate the photo first. And now you're going to be creating new photos based on that same prompt. That one looks kind of scary with the hand. But that's how you use it here. You also have the ability within here to tap on this little icon, which is your markup tool. And there's a new tool here, this right here. And all you have to do is kind of draw a circle and then you get the same deal here. So you can create another prompt to add into something you might be drawing. Create a very artistic style building by itself on a mountain. And there it is. It's in a kind of artistic style, very detailed actually, this building right here with all the windows and everything on top of a mountain. You can say other things, photorealistic, more modern, whatever, and it'll try to do its best to do that. Very similar. You have the ability to use Playground in the Notes app as well. Now let's go over some of the Image Playground settings. For this, you're going to open up the Settings app, and there really isn't all that much you can do, but we're going to go all the way to the bottom, tap Apps. You want to go to your P section here. I really don't like how Apple moved all the apps to this kind of section, and you're going to tap Playground. This is what you have. You have to give it access to the camera if you want it to have access. You can enable or disable that. Your Apple Intelligence and Siri, you can select here if you want Apple Intelligence and Siri to learn from how you use Playground, and that's with all apps. So uh, I did a full tutorial on how to use Apple Intelligence, which included enabling and disabling settings, chat GPT, and things like that. Very important and very detailed video. If you want to watch that, you can click the card right here. And there's also a link in the description. You'll learn everything you can do with Apple Intelligence. But you want to go here, show it on the home screen, suggest the app, suggestion notification. So those are the options you have there. Your search. So show in the app search and show in the content in the search. Basically, whatever you're searching for, going to show content and appear in that search. And then your cellular data. If you want it to be able to be used when you're on the go, it will use your data to generate these photos, or you can turn it off right here. That way it only works when you're using Wi-Fi. If you just want to play around with this app in general, you can just start selecting these suggestions here and it'll build it up based on those random people that it can create. So you can just say, I want a scientific bow tie. You want it to be a lighthouse and you can even go back here, put an adventure theme in there. Just Put whatever you want together. It'll generate it. It'll add a person, I believe, if it needs to right there. Just did it by itself. And now it's going to create that person based on all this other stuff that you added there, which I don't know why the face is so like prominent and in our face. But you can see some scientific stuff behind there. You can see the lighthouse in this one. This guy looks like he's a scientist, maybe. Really cool. Easy to use. But that's Apple's Image Playground, in my opinion. It's fun. It does have promise. It needs some work. It is still in beta, but that's how you use Image Playground on your iPhone or iPad. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'm happy to help you out. Like I said, I have a full tutorial on how to use Apple Intelligence with your iPhone, and it's got so much use for it. If you have a new iPhone with Apple Intelligence on it, you definitely want to watch that video. Again, the link is in the description. If this video was helpful or enjoyable, hit that like button, subscribe, click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. I do tons of iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorial videos on this channel, and I've been doing this for like 10 years. So definitely check out some of my other videos and get the most out of your iPhone. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.